He was 12 years old. He became the leader of the family at a very early age. He started gambling. He started in the numbers business first. And he became the boss of Dallas. As Al Capone was to Chicago and Meyer Lansky was to New York, Benny Binion was to Dallas. He was the Texas godfather. And as ruthless to his enemies as he was embracing to his friends. Doyle Brunson, Amarillo Slim, and the rest of the Texas Rounders were all familiar faces at Benny's tables. Benny was kind of like a dad to all of us. He would advise us, you know, and, and at least to me, you know, he was, he was really a special person. He had a great personality, and, and he was, uh, uh, had a great sense of humor, so uh, uh, he was very likable, uh, outstandingly likable. But Binion's mounting criminal record, he was convicted of two murders, avoiding jail time for both, and suspected of countless more, put a ticking clock on his time in Texas. The Texas Rangers had orders to kill Binion on sight. Not arrest him, kill him. So, with $2 million packed in a suitcase, Binion headed for Vegas. He immediately became a partner.